this makes no sense. This makes absolutely no sense. Why is this, why is this a calendar? Why is this a thing? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're gonna to be doing the 18th calendar in our 25 calendars of Christmas series. Are you guys tired of these yet? I really hope not because we still have so many to go. The last time I counted, I still have 19 calendars on this shelf over here to go through. Does 18 plus 19 equal 25? I don't think so. I'm pretty bad at math, but I don't think so. What I do think, however, is that I have a problem and I have no self-control. All right, so today we're gonna be getting into a calendar that was requested by somebody on Instagram. This is the Bath and Body a chunk of lead in here? What was that? Well, I hope everything just didn't instantaneously break. This is the Bath and Body Works advent calendar for 2021. I ordered this so long ago that I entirely forgot that this is something that existed in the world. It did finally get delivered today, so I am excited to see what is in here. I, like many people of my generation, did used to shop at Bath and Body Works quite often. We would go to the mall, we would grab a cookie, hit up the Claire's, swing by Bath and Body Works for some tiny little hand sanitizers, and you know, call it a day. And that was like a thing to do in the early to mid 2000s. Oh good, it tells me the price right on here. Nice. Inside here we have the Bath and Body Works advent calendar. This set, oh description, Merry Christmas. How sweet of you. Um, This was $51 but you also had to pay $5.99 shipping and handling and $3.42 tax. At least I did for my state. So that brings the total amount I paid for this calendar to $60.41. Alright so this is what the calendar looks like. I do think it's pretty cute. I like the little ribbon tied around and stuff. I'm anticipating seeing like a lot of probably like little mini bath products. Maybe some like small candles. Did I make like tiny candles that fit in here? I honestly don't know too much about Bath and Body Works. Like I said, I used to shop there a lot, but then that kind of dwindled. One thing I do know about Bath and Body Works is that I love the crazy Bath and Body Works candle lady video so much. Hello, everybody. It is an absolute classic. I watched it just the other day. If you haven't seen it and you don't know what I'm talking about, please go watch this video. If you want to see like the origin of Karen, I think this is like the origin story of Karen. She's got the hair. She's got the mistreatment of retail workers. She's got the coupon. She's got it all. I have every single coupon that Bath and Body Works has. I said I have about 10 of them. I don't need any more coupons. Okay, so enough about Bath and Body Works, Karen. Let's go ahead and drag over the mini table. Plop that bad boy up there. Rian, are you good boy? Are you best boy? All right, so let's go ahead and open this up here and see what we've got. Okay, so this is only a 12 day advent calendar. I was kind of hoping it was 24, but the doors actually look bigger than I was anticipating. So that is nice. The J hook, which so many of you have very kindly pointed out is not the name of a BTS member. Wow. The packaging on this one's actually pretty nice. The cardboard's real thick and sturdy, which makes it really hard to like get your fingers up into. But I do also think it looks pretty cute. I like the little pictures on the doors. All right, let's go into day number one. Day number one. Okay, so the first item in here is actually something I didn't even know Bath & Body Works sold. Um, this is the Dahlia Perfume. I knew they had like body mist, body sprays, that kind of thing, um, but the perfume, I have absolutely no idea. The bottle of this does look really pretty. The little sticker on here does tell you exactly how much it costs. This is $12.50, but I have to be honest though, when I first opened the store, I thought it said $125, and I was like, when did Bath & Body Works become so bougie? But no, <laughs> $12.50. So that way you can get a good idea of how much like you're actually getting in value with this calendar. I guess I could have looked that up. I bet it tells you. Uh, oh no. So this calendar is not $51 originally. I thought that was kind of a strange price. It's actually 85, which will definitely change like my perception on this because it is like $34 more expensive than I thought it was. And it has very bad reviews. My goodness. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It has really bad reviews. $85 doesn't tell us the value. Okay. <laughs> Great. Anyway, this Dahlia perfume, like I said, I think it's really pretty. I like the bottle. Let's give it a little sniff. Oh, okay. That's not bad. It's really not bad. It's not like my go-to fragrance but it does have a lot of vanilla in it I think which I like but there is also quite a lot of floral it's like a creamy flower. <laughs> it's like a vanilla-y floral scent. I think this seems like a nice way to start out. It does seem pretty decent. It's a fairly large size. It's not like one of those like, you know, tiny little free samples of perfume that we've been seeing in very expensive advent calendars. So I'm pretty happy with the first day. Let's move on here to day number two. She sent me an assortment of tools. I wonder if there's something better than the J-hook. How do you lose beekeeping tools? Where else would these be? Heh, <laughs> bee. All right, day number two is up next. <laughs> Okay, next up here we have another fragrance. This isn't a perfume, it is just a fragrance mist. It is in these shits. 
I don't know why I made that sound at the end. It is in the scent Champagne Toast, which I did have a candle of. My mom bought it for me years ago, but I remember it smelling really good. I'm liking that the sizes of these aren't super duper tiny. I mean, this is obviously smaller than like one of their big size ones, but this one is $8.50. It's gonna smell real interesting in here after I'm done. I personally like that scent. It smells like fruit juice. I don't know. It smells really fruity, kind of light. Moving on here to day number three. We have a cute little Christmas tree. Ow. Day number three. Okie dokie. It's a good thing I like the champagne toast scent. And we have the first of what I'm going to assume will be several squeezy tubes. Um, So this is the champagne toast shea butter hand cream. Why does that smell so bad? What, <laughs> what is that? It's like there's a little bit of like the champagne toast scent to it, but then there's also like another more powerful, more present, not so nice scent. What is that? I don't know about that. Okay, so it smells a little bit like champagne toast. It does smell more like it on the skin, but there's just like something else in there that I'm picking up on that doesn't smell fantastic. Day number four is next. Wow, they're just really running with the champagne toast, aren't they? Next up here, we have a champagne toast in another form. This time it is a liquid hand sanitizer. I feel like Bath and Body Works is just very well known for these little pods of hand sanitizer. You can get like little, <laughs> you can like dress them up in outfits. Hand sanitizer is always very nice to have. Let's go ahead and see if this one's smells good. Ah. Yeah, I mean, it smells like champagne toast and like alcohol, which probably smells more closely related to champagne than like all the other things. This little guy is $1.95. I will have to say that like, I feel like you can get most of these things on sale at Bath and Body Works at like any point of time of the day, of the week, of the year, of the month. I know that I personally receive emails and texts from them consistently and constantly, even though I like never shop with them. So I feel like even though they're giving you the retail value for these things, I, I guarantee you could probably get them for cheaper. All right, Today at number five is next. We have this cute little gingerbread man. Sorry, buddy. Not the gumdrop button. Oh. What is that? It's keychain. Okay, so as I was just saying, they have like all of these little things for the hand sanitizer. So you just slide that sucker down into there. And this one, you can still see that it says champagne toast. I would prefer it, honestly, if it was bedazzled all the way around. You know what this is. Everyone knows what this is. If you see this like dangling off someone's purse, you know exactly what this is. <laughs> so I feel like the advertisement for Bath and Body Works just really isn't necessary because everybody knows what this is. Now, if you have like multiple of these, just like all like on like a little key ring or something and you need to know which scent it is, then maybe the little cutout makes sense. So far we've had a lot of champagne toast items and for me personally I feel like that would be a little bit more geared towards like a New Year's kind of theme but I wanted like a Christmas theme like I wanted some gingerbread men and some candy canes and that kind of stuff so I'm hoping we see more of their like holiday scents in here because to me that makes sense you know it's a holiday advent calendar Merry Christmas right? Alrighty day number six is next. Okay so this one has a really pretty bottle I actually quite like the black bottle with like this shimmery kind of like starbursty things dripping down the front. This is is the Into the Night Ultimate Hydration Body Cream. But again, this just, it just looks like New Year's, doesn't it? It doesn't seem very like holiday Christmas. However, it does seem like a good size. This is also $7.50. Um, it smells good. It doesn't have like a gross scent to it. It is just, I guess, really floral or something. It's not my favorite. Yeah, it's just really floral. I bet there's a little bit of like sneaky rose in there. Yeah, definitely not my favorite scent. Definitely has nothing, like not a single thing to do <laughs> with Christmas or the holidays, Um, but I, I think this packaging is very pretty. Now I kind of want to have like a New Year's party and just like decorate it in like this theme and then when people are like, oh, where'd you get your inspiration? I'll just say into the night. And then when they're like, oh, that makes absolutely no sense. What are you talking about? And I'll just say... Moving on here to day number seven. Seven. Okay, so the next item in here is another champagne toast item. This is actually from White Barn though, which I'm gonna be fully honest with you guys. I have no idea what the difference between White Barn and Bath and Body Works is. Are they not the same thing? You can get like the same scented candles, one from Bath and Body Works and one from White Barn. And the White Barn one looks a little bit like upscale and like more minimalist, but I feel like it's the same thing. So if anybody would care to enlighten me as to what, what on earth the difference is between the things, that would be very helpful because I don't understand it. Anyway, this is a White Barn champagne toast, so maybe it's just like slightly different. Which, does champagne smell like anything? I've never had just like champagne, I'm fairly certain. The only time I really have anything ever to do with champagne is when uh, we go pick up like a $5 bottle of the Andre on like the bottom, bottom shelf of like the liquor store shelving. And then you instantly screw off the cap and you pour it into some orange juice. So my champagne just smells like orange juice. So I don't really know what champagne smells like. What an intense mist. Wow, that is concentrated. Oh my goodness. 
It's invading the air. Oh, I bet that's all of my energy drink, isn't it? Probably, but who can even tell at this point? Okay, well, at least they weren't fibbin. Um, this is definitely concentrated. The smell is quite intense. I would say just like one spritz in each room and you'd be good to go. All right, moving on here to day number eight. I was gonna like question, you know, like, oh yeah, the traditional Christmas hot air balloon, but apparently Santa's in here delivering presents from a balloon, just like the old tale goes. Oh no, I'm seeing like a little piece of paper dangle out. Is this a coupon? I don't need any more coupons. No, okay, this is not a coupon. This is one of the White Barn Wallflowers. This is a thousand wishes. It's supposed to be warm and comforting. I have actually considered buying some of these before, um, but I, I, I just didn't. I <laughs> never got around to it. Um, but the only thing is, because I did never get around to it, is that unless there is one of the little like pluggy in things in there that you actually like put this into, this little bottle of liquid is just absolutely useless to me <laughs> because I won't have anything to use it with. I guess I could just like maybe open it up and put some some diffuser rods in it or something. Why do I feel like this is a really bad idea? Are you supposed to do this? Oh, it literally says open on the top, so <laughs> I guess so. Ow! Wrong way, you dummy. All right, so when you open it up, there's like a little wick sticking out of it. I've never used one of these before, so I really don't know like exactly how you use them, but um, do you even need like the wall plug-in thing or could I just like set this on a shelf? It smells good. It smells nothing like Christmas, but it smells good. Um, maybe like a little bit of cranberry in there. I feel like cranberry is kind of a Christmas scent. You know how people like used to string together cranberries and put them on the tree? I've done that once, only once. Oh, can you not put this back on? Cool. Okay, so day number nine is next. It is a pretty large sized door. I'm hoping there's a little diffuser thingy that I could put this into because I've just wasted it if not. All right, so let's see what day number nine has in store. Sweet, <laughs> yes, I'm actually excited. Okay, so this is very helpful. Um, This is one of the little diffusery things. I do have some that are super like decorative and cute and that kind of thing. This one looks very basic, but that is fine. Okay, so now we have what should be a functioning wallflower. Um, it does say that it lights up, which I like. I like having like a little bit of a nightlight. Sleeping in pitch blackness isn't my favorite thing to do. <laughs> like it's just a little bit spooky, okay? Like I like to be able to see what's going on. You wake up in the middle of the night, your eyes are playing tricks on you because it's so dark and stuff. You know, you start seeing things like in the corners. So no little bit of light never hurt anybody. <laughs> you can be almost 30 and still want just like a little bit of a nightlight. I can't get this plastic part off. But anyway, wallflower. Moving on to day number 10. Okay, so the next thing in here, is it's another hand sanitizer just in a different form this one's more watery um but this is a antibacterial hand spray and the scent a thousand wishes again none of these have anything to do with christmas forgot that that was like a hand sanitizing product and number 11 is down here in a cute little snow globe door Again, not a single thing in here smells like Christmas. Why do they not put like something, gingerbread, peppermint, like anything, hot cocoa. They have to make all those scents in something. I know that they do. Um, but again, we have another end of the night shower gel. I don't know why some of these randomly tell you like the notes of fragrance in here, but this one tells you the key notes, which are raspberry, Nior, amber crystals, velvety rose petals. There it is. That's the one. I knew there was rose in one of these things. Creamy patchouli and mocha musk. All right, so my battery just died as I was filming and we have discovered that every time my battery dies, I lose all my footage. So if my footage is gone from this whole calendar, well, I don't know what I'll do. I'll just be sad, I guess. <laughs> I guess cram everything back in and do it over. But anyway, we're just gonna continue on like the footage is still there, even though it's likely not. Anyway, I think we're talking about this shower gel. Yeah, so they tell you the notes in here, but most of them still don't make sense. Like what's, what's raspberry New York? I don't know. I got literally everywhere. One tiny little string covered like this whole table. All right, you guys, moving on to day number 12, the final day of the advent calendar. Maybe we will see something, just anything related to Christmas in here. What I don't understand with the lack of Christmas stuff is like these aren't scents they would have to make special for a Christmas advent calendar. They have bukus of like Christmas holiday smelling things, right? Like they have to, I know they do. So why wouldn't they just put the, the same things in just holiday scents inside a holiday advent calendar? It makes no sense to me. All right, last and hopefully not least, we have day number 12. Oh, a candle. Okay, so the final item in here is a candle. I was hoping we would see one inside this calendar. I'm actually pretty impressed with the size of it as well. I thought it might be like, you know, like a little tea light or something. Why does it smell like that? That smells awful. Oh, okay, so the scent of this candle is champagne toast and I'm sure the candle itself smells fine. Yeah, the candle actually smells really great, but the outside of it smells 
awful. It smells like mildew, like this has been wet at some point. Oh my gosh, it smells like when you leave your towels in the washing machine for days because you forget to do laundry and you just have to like throw like five Tide Pods into the washing machine and just let it go again to get that horrible mildewy smell out of them and then you, you, you know, you do it again because... <laughs> that's who you are as a person but yeah it smells like old mildewy towels that smells so gross it's like on my hands now like i can smell the mildew on my hands Ew. where did they keep these candles where were they storing these jars did they wash them before they put the candle in here this smells really bad Um, okay, so I just did the math and added up all of these things together. Keep in mind this calendar was originally $85, so that means there are people out there that did pay $85 for this calendar. The total retail value, like the price they actually sell these things for without being on sale at the store, all together came to $90.40. So like $5 more than you actually pay for the calendar, plus I'm sure you still have to pay for like shipping and taxes and stuff, so like e exactly how much the things are. Which sounds like, well duh, you know, you pay that much for the things and that's how much they're worth. So yeah, but no, advent calendars are supposed to come with like some type of value. That's like the whole appeal of an advent calendar besides having like a fun little present for every day leading up to Christmas. One of the main major selling points for advent calendars is like, oh, look at how much you can get for this price. Look at all this value you can get for a lower cost. This one's just like, hey, let me give you 12 random items having nothing to do with the holidays or Christmas and you're gonna pay exactly what you pay for in store unless you are shopping one of our many, 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 many sales where you could get most these items for much cheaper. This makes no sense. This makes absolutely no sense. Why is this Why is this the calendar? Why is this a thing? None of these items are like special holiday things. There's nothing in here that you can get in this calendar that you can't get in store. Like basically just go to Bath and Body Works and shop for yourself. Don't get this. <laughs> Please don't get this. At $51, it's a little bit of a better deal. You are getting some things in here that you can definitely get use out of. But at the same time, again, guarantee you if you go in there and shop a sale, you can probably get full size items of things you really enjoy for less than that. And maybe your candle won't smell like it was dug out of the basement of an old abandoned house. Anyway, so yeah, that is the entire Bath and Body Works advent calendar for 2021. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hopefully the rest of this video still exists. Thank you so very much for watching. We still have a ton of advent calendars to go through, some pretty big ones <laughs> that you guys might not want to miss, or maybe you do. I don't know. I probably want to miss them too. So please go ahead and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on those, and I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!